In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize your video for your e-learning projects. I'm Paul Wilson and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and by all means, share it with all of your e-learning buddies. Today I'm not going to be using Adobe Captivate, but it's something that you're going to want to be uh, aware of, a process that you want to be aware of in preparation of using video with Adobe Captivate. Ultimately, when you publish your e-learning courses, the intention is to publish it to the internet. And of course, various people have different uh, speeds when it comes to accessing the internet, and we want to make it as efficient and optimized as possible. So I have this video that I wish to include in my e-learning course. It originally was an Adobe stock video, and I've maybe edited it to include some audio narration and what have you here, and I need to optimize it. Currently, it's 113 megabytes. That means that when I put this in my e-learning course, it's going to increase my e-learning course by 113 megabytes. Many learning management systems don't have the capability to take larger e-learning projects. They're, they're doing their best to kind of reduce the size of those up front. So you may have to optimize this first. And that's where Adobe Media Encoder comes into play. Now I'm currently using Adobe Media Encoder 2025. You might have a different version. If you're using Adobe Captivate 12, it doesn't actually come as part of the installation, but because your license includes Adobe Captivate Classic, Media Encoder is part of the installation of that. And it might be a different version what I'm running here, but the process is essentially the same here. So I'm going to grab this .mov video file that I have that's 113 megabytes, and we're just going to drag it over to the queue here. Now, when I optimize a video, the first thing I'm going to do is select one of the different presets. Basically, this default preset here is going to keep the same 1080p that this video is, and it's going to choose a target bit rate of 20 megabits per second, which is quite frankly a little large for something that's going to be distributed over the internet like e-learning. So I'm going to click on this high quality 1080p preset and the first thing we can do is go and select one of the other presets here. I might start with a high quality 720p, but feel free to experiment with the different options that are here. These are the ones that work for me. So I'm going to choose 720p. So that's going to reduce the resolution down to 720 lines of resolution instead of 1080. Sure, it would be nice to have HD quality, but you're always trying to balance between quality and speed of download, of course. If your student has to sit there and wait and wait and wait for the video to load, they're not going to be very happy, regardless of how good quality that video is. The other thing I like to do is the megabits per second, or the bit rate, if you will. So this uh, target bit rate with the 720p option does drop it down from 20 to 10, but I'd like to take it a bit further. I find that two megabits per second, which is more in line with, you know, some fairly average internet access speeds that many users will have, is probably sufficient here. It's not going to reduce the resolution, but it's going to compress that data stream a little bit and, and end up with a faster loading video. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. We'll go back to our main window here, and all you need to do to re-encode this video now is select this Start Queue button in the upper right-hand corner here. It will only take a second to do. Obviously, longer videos might take longer. Let's take a look at the results here. Here's the original folder. There's my 113 megabyte video. Now it's down to just under six megabytes, a significant reduction in size. But you might be saying, okay, well, how's the quality? First of all, let's look at the original. 
All right, so here's the original. Looks good. And let's look at the optimized version here. Also looks really good. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.